while he de delivered with a lot of energy and gusto, um, I would say that was he was long on style but short on substance. That's the word from managing director of Jamari and Sons and former senator Everistus Jamari on Prime Minister Alan Chastney's presentation of the Appropriation Bill 2021-2022 presentation to the nation. The prominent businessman has been a vocal critic of a number of policy prescriptions of the Alan Chastney administration, most notably the absence of the COVID-19 relief package for bus drivers who continue to feel the pinch at the pumps with high gas prices and decreased capacity loads. Jamari says, despite the bill falling against the backdrop of the ongoing pandemic, the takeaways were few and far between. At best, an uninspired rehash of fantastical ideas. I thought it'd have been more outlandish in some of the promises bringing in an election year, but I suppose uh, it is difficult to do so because we have a lot of challenges ahead of us. And um, luckily, we have elections in our hands, so the country has to decide now: do we continue this or do we change it? Jamari underlines what he sees as the gaping inadequacies in the management of the ongoing pandemic that has so far claimed the lives of 64 persons on island. He again questioned the wisdom of the UWP administration's aggressive infrastructural program, describing it as a grave miscalculation. Sadly, a lot of that money which was borrowed was to provide income supports. Um, a lot of Ordinary folk didn't get that direct intervention and a lot of money was spent on infrastructural works, which, you know, it's a sort of strange thinking. Infrastructural works can produce benefits down the road, um, but in the particular circumstances we were in, people were in, in, in need of support immediately. So the intervention had to be very direct. You, you cannot be taking on capital works with the hope that down the road people will somehow benefit from it. That was the that was a bad policy. For Jean Marie, who bemoans Saint Lucia's COVID nineteen death toll compared to the rest of the Eastern Caribbean, the loss of life, which some commentators argue could have been mitigated, is an unpardonable blemish on the government's management of the pandemic. In many ways, people in the in the administration were bad examples. I mean the Prime Minister was found on too many occasions and I think we took that very lightly. Um, in breach of protocols and uh, you are asking people to follow protocols and we are persistently being seen to be, be breaching the protocols. I mean, you've got to lead by example. You can't ask people to do things and you, you yourself are not complying. And he seemed to have had a difficulty following the rules. And it's no wonder that some people uh, took the liberty of, you know, breaching protocols. So that's a responsibility he has to take. But generally, in terms of the budget presentation, I thought, yes, it's very lively in, in many cases, but it's very short on substance. And um, I, I think it's a make the, it has made the work, I think, for the opposition uh, pretty easy. The 2021-2022 appropriation bill is the final budget policy statement for the first term of the Alan Chastney-led UWP administration. As the island prepares to head to the polls in what is being billed as one of the most important elections in the nation's history. Solaj Alfred, HTS News Force.